All right, first things first, if you want to be making the $25,000 a year, I'm not guaranteeing these results. I, I can't, can't promise you how much you're gonna make, but if you wanna be making significant income from Amazon Associates, or at least starting to build up your Amazon Associates revenue like I have over the course of this year, the first thing that you need to do is figure out what products do you use on a daily basis that you truly recommend to audiences? That's your foundation for how you make a strategy like this work. So for example, in my studio, Happy New Year to you guys too, Bra and TTV on watching this live. In my studio, I've got all sorts of products that I use on a regular basis that I recommend to people every single day, including these microphones, these cameras, these monitors, these computers, things that I truly love and I use and I believe in. And so, that is my foundation of the products that I can sell on Amazon to other people and that I can refer people to use um, when I'm doing Amazon Associates. So if you guys wanna see the types of products that I'm recommending, I'm gonna link you guys to my shop in live chat right now if you guys wanna check it out. And what you can do is you can set up a shop on Amazon and I'll go ahead and pull the link over here to my shop to show it to you where you can curate products that you recommend and that you use on a regular basis for people to click on and for people to purchase. So if you guys click the link that I have in the description below, it's called your storefront on Amazon. And the uh, and, and you go set up your storefront, you put your branding there, you put your search engine optimized terms there, and you can set up idea lists that people can shop from when they arrive at your Amazon storefront. And because I recommend things like streamer accessories, for example, all the things that I'm using to live stream right now, I'm literally capturing the footage you see right here using this capture card. I'm controlling this stream and playing music like the music track I'm now playing right now using my stream deck. The LED lights, I just bought those. I'm setting those up in my studio. I'm streaming using this router and I'm looking at chat using this monitor, right? And so I create video videos on my YouTube channel talking about these products, telling people how to use them, talking about why I recommend them. I'll show them in my studio. I'll show me using them and talk about the usefulness of the products versus others that I've tested. And then I'll link them in my description below, which I've got all of my Amazon Associates links in the description below of this particular live stream of this particular video for you to check out so that you can understand what this strategy looks like. It's all about genuinely recommending products that you use on a daily basis to your viewers. It has to be genuine or people are not gonna believe you. You can't just recommend stuff that you heard about. You can't just recommend stuff that you think might be good or that you wish you had. You have to recommend stuff that you actually use on a daily basis and literally show it in your video and show yourself using it. And then people will click those links and they will potentially purchase them. Let me just show you a, couple, a handful of examples on my channel so you can understand the concept. So obviously I showed you this video where I was displaying two different webcams. I'll just play the video on screen so you can kind of understand an example. It's an older video of me here and I'm talking about uh, in this video different webcams. I'm literally showing the footage on screen of me uh, using this particular webcam and then I will later on in the video show footage of me using a different webcam and I'll switch back and forth between those two shots in the video and I talk about the pros and cons of these two particular webcams and then I'll tell people in the video where they can go to go buy those webcams. All right, and then they click the link in the description below and this particular video I'm showing you right here made me about $15,000 in Amazon Associates revenue thereabouts plus YouTube revenue, just one video. And the really important thing here to note is that I optimized the video for search around these products. So I, I, I optimized it for the two best webcams for YouTube, Twitch, and streaming, 1080p and 4K, and it's the two cameras I recommended, the Logitech Brio and the Logitech C920. So you may be wondering, okay, how can you, you were there for that video. That's right, dude, what's up, Big Nate? <laughs> right on. And so how can you guys uh, optimize your videos so that you can get discovered in search. And so it's a tool I'm constantly talking about and I used it for these this video right here that made me $15,000 and it's a tool called TubeBuddy. And so when you open TubeBuddy, you use the keyword explorer and what you literally do in this scenario if you're trying to make revenue off of Amazon Associates is you type in the name of whatever product you wanna recommend right here and you figure out a way to break through in search using TubeBuddy is saying in chat, uh, the Lumix G7. Great, 
I'll go ahead and do some research for you right now using this exact same research method I just talked about. So we're gonna go up to TubeBuddy, we're gonna go to the Keyword Explorer, and a product that you use in chat is the uh, Lumix G7. So I'm gonna type in the Lumix G7 here into Keyword Explorer, and we're gonna look at topics we can potentially make about the Panasonic Lumix G7 camera, just so you guys can see what that is. Um, I'm gonna go to Amazon and show you that product. By the way, you can do this with any product. It's not just, uh, it's not just electronics. It's anything that's for sale on Amazon. And I wanted to ask you guys, what was it that's for sale on Amazon again? Oh yeah, everything. <laughs> so if there's any product that's for sale on Amazon, you can use this affiliate marketing strategy I'm teaching you guys right now for any product, t-shirts, makeup products, electronics, books, audiobooks, Kindles, iPads, socks, shoes, kids toys, strollers, wagons, pools, you name it, everything's for sale on Amazon, and you can use this strategy with any type of product that you can possibly imagine, okay? So there's the Panasonic Lumix G7, and if I were selling this product, all right, this would be the Amazon Associates link I would use for it, so I'm gonna link that to you guys in chat. All right, now that we have our affiliate link, we're gonna be looking at, okay, how do we make a video about this that people will discover and that they can actually uh, discover you and discover you talking about the product and you potentially can sell some Panasonic Lumix G7s. By the way, that's the camera you're looking at me through right now on this particular live stream. That is th this camera I've got mounted in this ring light, right? So this is, I'm glad you brought up that product uh, because it's one that I recommend actually. So as you can see, when I searched in the keyword explorer on TubeBuddy, it got a good score, but not a great score. But 640,000 times per month, people search for Lumix G7. So we probably need to go a layer deeper on this particular topic. And you guys, and a question from Nick CK asking how you become an Amazon associate, I'll tell you that in just a minute, okay? I'm gonna finish doing this example for one of my live viewers your supplementary seminary who's watching on YouTube. And then I'll answer your question on how you apply for Amazon Associate. I'll, I'll walk you through that process, okay? Um, yes, you can also do this process for things like GPUs, the RTX 380, any product you can think of. You can sell and get a commission off of it using this method. And by the way, it's free to sign up for Amazon Associates. So Lumix G7, it's got an okay score here. Let's dive a little bit deeper. So we'll look under video searches in TubeBuddy. Link in the description below if you wanna pick up a free trial of TubeBuddy to use this method. And let's do maybe Lumix G7 streaming. Maybe that's a term that I'm just randomly clicking that. All right, that was all right. Let's try Lumix G7 streaming settings. Maybe, maybe people are looking for tutorials. Yeah, it's okay, it's not great. So we'll go back to the master term. And right now I'm shopping for potential video topics I could make about this uh, product that I recommend. And I'm, I'm looking to see what types of videos I could make about the Lumix G7 that can potentially break through. So let's try Panasonic Lumix G7 and see if we can get a better score. Eh, it's not quite as good. And so right now, Panasonic G Lumix G7 tutorial, maybe? Eh, it's okay. So as you can see, you're gonna be clicking around, you're gonna be looking for different keywords, and you're gonna try to figure out uh, different combinations of keywords and different things people are searching for when it comes to the Panasonic Lumix G7. As, as we can see here, I'm not finding the best uh, I'm not finding the best score. I can only get up to a 48. So this particular product, the Panasonic Lumix G7, will be a difficult product to make a video about on YouTube and to break through with search results immediately, okay? As we're seeing, it just is, it's difficult to break through on this one. I'm looking, I'm not seeing anything that's got an amazing score. Here we go, I just got a green score. Best settings for Panasonic G7, here you go. So if you made a video about the best settings for Panasonic G7, you may be able to break through in YouTube search and actually get people to click and then go make an, a uh, commission when they click your Amazon Associates link here for the Panasonic Lumix G7. There you go, I just found one using TubeBuddy right here using this method today. There you go. So that's the research method. So then, now that you know people wanna know the best settings for it, what you do is you go through and you do the best settings for your camera, you detail all of those, you show it adjusting in real time as you're looking at your camera, you're doing the focus, you're switching over to 4K, you're telling about 
the troubles you had with it. You're telling about your experience. You're being very, very honest and open about the product you're recommending and you're teaching people how to use it and people are getting a lot of value out of it. As you can see, people, when they search for things on YouTube and on Google, let me just show this playlist to you and I'll disappear my camera for a moment. When people search for things on YouTube and Google, they're looking for the answer on what the best is. They don't want a million options. They only want a few options. And so as you can see, I narrowed this one down to only two webcams. And I just narrowed this one down to my favorite mixer. And I narrowed this one down to two microphones. When you can narrow down the choices for people to the least number of choices possible, two mics, two mics, just the best gear for recording right here. You see what I mean? I'm narrowing down people's choices to only the best that I recommend. Then people get excited and they click because they wanna know what the best is. And so in this video, I'm talking about my favorite mixer, the Rode Procaster mixer. As you can see, it's right here. And it's literally the mixer I'm using to do this particular live stream. And so people are like, I'm not saying here's your top 10 mixers to use. I'm saying I literally use this one mixer. If you're interested in watching me demo it and tell you about the features of it, does it sound good to you? Cool. Go take a look in the description. Oh, what did I do here, audience? I linked to my Amazon Associates links right here at the top of that description. And look at that, people clicked those and I got commissions when they bought it. And it was a genuine recommendation because I use this mixer every single day. You see the strategy there, guys? You limit people's choices in terms of uh, what you're recommending to only the most important or the best or the things that you think are the best for your audience. When you give people less choices, that's good. You save them time. You recommended something that you genuinely use. When you give them more choices, they're less likely to click and they're less likely to actually take the action that you want them to take. Uh, just a second, gaming creators. I just wanted to let you know about our gaming creator bundle sweepstakes. This is the biggest giveaway I've ever done. It's $1,100 in gear for gaming creators, including this microphone, shock mount stand. The If you like the sound you hear right now, you could sound this good in all of your live streams and videos using this road package that they hooked us up with. Let me just show it to you. There's a link in the description below if you want to enter this sweepstakes. It includes this audio gear you see here, plus the super high-end Rodecaster Pro mixer, plus our friends over at TubeBuddy threw in a TubeBuddy Legend license, and our friends at Restream threw in a Restream license if you want to stream to multiple platforms at the same time. This is gear and software I use to grow my channels and to help my clients and gear that I recommend all the time. And it's freaking free to enter to win this. Link in the description below. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you get this gear. And at the very least, enter to win. At least you have a shot to pick it up at a cost of $0. Why not enter? Link below. Good luck, gaming creators.